Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Siren Blood Curse. Uh, we're... Oh shit! Uh, we're in control of, of Howard again. I think this is the first time we actually have to brace the door. Uh, and you just do that by going up to a locked door, pressing yourself against it, and shaking the controller. Okay, now I saw this phone. I don't remember if I have to use it or not. Okay. I fucked that up right away because I was mashing. Uh, 364. Is that like Japanese 911? Oh, I hope it's something. Fuck you. Okay. Uh, basement? Anything? Fuse is missing. Okay, find the fuse. Anywhere. Anything, anywhere. Okay, cool. We're going into some kind of sub- No, we're not. No, we are not. What do I do about that? Uh, unless I have to go back outside. Oh, shit. Where even- Oh! Oh, God. Yeah, I do have to go back outside. I have to- Oh, hey! Oh, hey, Melissa's helping. I Yeah, I'll take that hand sickle. I didn't expect her to help. Uh, hold on. This way... Is there absolutely nothing in here? No. It's not like Silent Hill where you're like, explore every room, there might be a little bit of ammo in there, there might be a health drink or an ample or something. Okay, Melissa's kind of leading the way. It's so easy to get turned around and disoriented with this camera. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's the party shaft. Find a gun. I would love to. Oh, fuck. I turned around and went right into the party shaft. Oh, God. Gun. Please, gun. Oh, hello. Oh, he is the gun. Let's take the gun. Oh, no. They caught up so quick. But yeah, that man does indeed have a gun. Uh, but this situation... Melissa's slugging it out. God damn. Okay. Well, I know what to do and what not to do this time. Holy shit. Oh no! It started me facing them. I did the same thing again. Hope I, I'm just gonna have to kill the Shibito with a gun, uh, really quickly this time. No, like slow sneaking around. Yes. Push him in. Push him in. But does the gun go with? No. Okay. Wait a minute. Do I even need the gun? Cause now I can just run past all of them. Now that I've triggered them and they're they're uh maybe. No. We're okay. The Shibito are kinda quick, but they aren't that quick. Damn, this is a dead end. Oh no. How do I use the gun? I don't remember. Like that. It actually looks pretty good. Jesus Christ. I, I'm not trying to leave Melissa behind. I would like to, but she's just being too slow. I think we should go to the church. Are you kidding me? Where those bunch of murderers go to pray? What? No, no, you have it all wrong. That was a mistake. 
Place like this. Like I told you before. Just shut up! I swear you're completely useless. I'm gonna find her myself. Come on! Oh, damn it! What the hell is this? Don't look back. Just like hide and seek, we'll hide somewhere good, okay? I, I promise I'll come and find you. Daddy said they don't exist. They don't exist! Oh, they exist. So they really, really you. exist. No! This, uh, the beginning of episode three is the last thing that we did during Halloween, uh, last year. Are you kidding me? Where those bunch of murderers go to play? No, you have it all wrong. That was a mistake. Like I told you before. Just shut up! Come on! I swear you're completely useless! I can find her myself. Oh. What the hell is this? Run! Run! Don't look back! Just like hide and seek, you'll hide somewhere good, okay? <laughs> I promise I'll come and find you! There's no such thing as a boogie man. Daddy said they don't exist. They don't exist! No, they really, really do. Separating the child by herself is like the worst of all possible decisions. Uh, and now we play as Bella, our Sherry Birkin of a uh, of Siren Blood Curse, out here in Alcamilla Hospital, <laughs> Saga Hospital. Uh, so I was saying this is the last thing that we played during Halloween last year, the beginning of this episode. And we're probably going to ride this whole episode out so we start getting into some stuff that I have not seen before. Okay, call for help from reception. I remember this. Use staircase B to go down to the first floor. Okay, that's the one all the way across, though. So, again, I need to hang a right, right out of this door, but I already hear one of them. This is the part that I remember having to spend a really long time on because it was fairly tough. Uh, Bella does not get the benefit that uh, either of our other two protagonists had so far. They can't take a hit. Uh, she can't take a hit. She can't fight back. All she can do is sneak and hide. Uh, she can sight jack though, which is nice. There's the one, I think this one's through the, the medical curtains. And I remember something that took me a long time to figure out is that she can actually, like, slip between the curtains. But as soon as she gets spotted by anything, she's, it, it's basically a fail state. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, the animation takes so long just to freak you out. Because you get worried the nurse is going to swing around for her next patrol. Okay, and then I think we go down to the basement here. Yeah, the basement. The basement killed me last time. Again, after this one chapter... Uh, it's all blind from here on out. This is the part that I remember probably most vividly because it's the part I had the hardest time with before. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are some lockers somewhere around. Oh, that's very Silent Hill. As are uh, all the wheelchairs we're finding around here. Makes sense though because of the hospital setting. Uh... You gonna come down the hall? No, you're gonna cross straight into uh the next room, I hope. Okay. 
I wasted a lot of time down here uh, when I first played this, messing around with like a, a cooking timer and the elevator. I think there's a Shibito in the elevator if you call it down. Okay, reception should be up one of these two. Oh, God damn it. Near the incinerator. Front game, place, staircase, director's office, prep room, kitchen. Where is the incinerator? Oh, God damn. This is also a fairly large vertical space. A lot of locked doors, though, which is kind of nice for cutting off some of that space. I cannot tell what room the incinerator is. I have an idea. I'm pretty sure it's back down in the basement, but I guess I'll take this chance just to explore a few of the upper floors and double check on that. I don't quite remember. So we're just going to have to look around. I think it's it, it's somewhere around where we just saw the nurse Shibito downstairs. But again, I'm gonna look around up here anyway. I don't know if I'm actually gonna find anything too useful. This doesn't seem like a uh, a supply heavy game, like I was saying before. Again, kind of a difference between this and Silent Hill. Knowing that some of the minds uh, behind Silent Hill are working on this, though, opening some of those stall doors is nerve-wracking. Oh, shit! There's one, like, right behind me back there. This is... Crazy bad. Oh, okay. She's behind the uh, the locked gate. The fuck! I heard a crow. Eh, okay. I'm waiting for like Silent Hill one for uh. Yeah, there's definitely someone back there for like a body or something to to fall forward as soon as I open the, the stall door. Okay. I don't think I'm in immediate danger on this floor, but I want to make sure there wasn't a Shibito taking a shit in here or something. Would be nice if, like Silent Hill 1, I could find a shotgun in there. Okay, so we're... Wait a minute. Did I take these stairs? Is that how I got up on the roof before? No, I didn't. I don't think I did. Ah, shit. It was either right around the corner and I didn't sight jack to check it, or... I don't know. That's fine. Um, I'm not gonna go back upstairs this time. I'm pretty sure I know where to go. And it's back downstairs. Okay, you're staring at the desk. I should be able to get past, okay? Jesus, the the pounding drum simulating a harpy. There's this is the incinerator room. <sighs> It's so... Oh, shit, she heard me walking past that second time. It's so oppressive, that heartbeat sound when a Shibito is right nearby. It's nice that you get that kind of uh, Silent Hill radio static to alert you, but damn. Help! Daddy, Mommy! Where are you? Daddy, Mommy! Bella! 
Huh? So? Bella! Bella! <laughs> I found you! Now you're it! No! Jesus. Okay, pass through administration office, escape using the employee staircase. Oh, I do have to go back down in the basement. That's what the uh, the egg timer's for down there. Because of the nurse at the uh, at the desk. Fuck. There's not another way, right? Yeah. Okay, he's not getting through that way, which is kind of nice. That is what I'm heading towards, right? Or like something in that general direction? I'm gonna back it up and check again. Uh, yeah, yeah, cause there's, uh, there's a fence in the way that I can't open up, so I have to go down and around, going through the, uh, the kitchen and the administration room. Oh, oh, oh. She decided to patrol for a second. Okay. Yeah, because this... I can't get around this way because of the, the blockage. So I do have to go through the kitchen or something. And... She's not looking to her left, right? Because that would mess me up really bad. Ah, uh, she's kind of looking at the door. I don't know if I'll be able to open this without... No, she doesn't quite see me. She did hear me trying to open the door and it... Oh, shit. This might work, though. That might be... A... Yes! Yes, yes, yes. That's a good enough distraction. Cool. And I am at the right staircase. I just want to make sure before I committed to that direction. Uh. God on, damn. It's me. No! Cool, we got past Bella's uh, chapter in episode three. I think we're officially on to new territory. Wait, you were part of that ritual. This girl is cursed, you know. She needs to be sacrificed. I was a man. I was a man. I was a man. I was a man. Uh, I I was really thinking for a second we were gonna play as like an injured Melissa, who I hate, but that would have been interesting. But no, we're back with Howard. Oh shit! 
I hope this does not turn into a lot of tedious escorting. This way is dangerous. I'm really getting curious about how all of this is going to start intersecting. All of these different character branches. Okay, so we just need to get across the west field. There's an iron gate that I am 99% positive is going to be shits locked. I think I'm free to run until I start hearing heartbeats. Reunite with Miyako, find a weapon near equipment storage. Oh shit. Uh, I really have to find a weapon fast, because Miyako is now getting attacked, and all she has is a piddly little stick, which she can't swing worth a shit, judging by that cutscene. Okay, there's you. Oh god, this is such a problem. Okay, that shit is not gonna open up. There's the gate. Okay, so I, I at least have uh, an idea for where I... Oh no, I got around to the other side of it from that church. So I have to open up the gate with a weapon because of the chain. Uh, and then make my way back to Miyako from this side and then lead her over here. But weapon, 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 weapon. This music and this atmosphere is tense enough as is. If that Mongolian throat singing comes in, though, that is what is really, really gonna put me on edge. We got a bunch of things. A brush hatchet. Hack it? Is that what that said? What about this? Some ah, God damn it. I see her behind me. Let's try to figure out what would be best to bring with me. Hacksaw! Okay, please stay down, please stay down. Garden fork? Okay, that looks like it may have some reach. It, I, I, like, I'm guessing any of these will break the chain on the gate. But, I'm thinking about if I have to fight uh, one or two Shibito, what I want with me. Combo that chain. Combo. Shit, I hear something coming from the right. I don't think it... No, it definitely didn't spot me. But, whoa, that's a lot of garbage. And they're looking at... Okay, so that's where Miyako is. She's over there getting attacked in a shed. I wonder how much time I have to get there before they bust the door down. Or if she's able to just brace that indefinitely or something, I don't know. Oh, what am I going to do about that, though? Okay, that's impassable. There's like... Oh, God, there's a lot of them. Some of them have weapons. Okay, that didn't get her attention, but it also didn't get theirs. Am I going to have to fight them all? Uh, I don't know of another way out of this. Unless I can come around this side and like open her shack's door from the side they're, they're not besieging. That would be kind of nice. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 that looks like it. No! Get out of the way. Break this shit down. Bust up all of the, the the cultural touchstones. Oh, this sucks. 
Oh, this sucks. They they don't notice me at all. They're fixated on that shack. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, so I was under the wrong impression. I didn't know that Shibito could be permanently killed. I thought they were just put down for a little while. But no, you can- okay, so... Fighting is an option in some instances. It's not quite as bad as I thought it was. But still, uh, characters tend to be pretty fragile from what I've seen, so I don't want to fight all the time. Okay, so I just want to lead her back. Ah, uh, this way works. <laughs> Cannot crawl under that. Is she going to be able to get up here? Really, really hope so. I hear her. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we're now back at the, the church. So we can go down from here, and this is the way that I came before after I climbed that tree. Uh, where? Well. Oh, shit. Did he just eat shit? Yeah. Okay, we're okay. Feel like we're doing pretty well. We almost have uh, Miyako out of here. Knock over the rotting tree to create a bridge. Uh, I'm guessing that's the blue dot. Yeah, that makes sense, because we want to get back on the road. So that all makes sense. I'm wondering how much... Uh, Howard actually understands between the interaction with, with Miyako and the other guy. Um, he was speaking just a very tiny bit of Japanese earlier on. Uh, I don't know. We did it, though. Cool. Holy shit! Amana's diary added to archive. Get out of here, stupid guy, Jin! Holy shit! So I guess we're diving into episode four next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.